Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn about relations and functions. Now, what is a relation? Relation means a relationship between two set of values or simply a set of ordered pairs. So there are different ways on how to present a relation. One way is by ordered pairs. Kasi nga sabi dito, a set of ordered pairs. Pwede siya natin i-present using table of values, mapping diagram. So, isa-isa natin yan by graphs or equations. Or even in words, you can um, present this. Let's start with ordered pairs. So, ayan. Ordered pairs, ibig sabihin set of ordered pairs. So, mayroon tayong curly bracket dito na nagpapakita na siya ay set. Na kung saan, inside we have three ordered pairs. So, we know that in the ordered pair, this is x or the x-coordinate, and this is the value of y. Okay? 5 is x, y is 2. So, this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. So, that one, this is a relation. Okay, using mapping diagram. So, paano natin present using this way? So, pwede ka magkaroon ng dalawang oblong dyan or kaya circle o kaya rectangle na kung saan ito yung isang set of values natin, ito naman yung other set of values natin kasi sabi dito, two set of values. So, ito ang magiging x at yan naman ang magiging y. So, kung gagamitin natin ang ordered pairs dito, pwede natin siyang gawing uh, mapping diagram. Tingnan natin, pwede natin i-arrange yung values ng x. So, alamin natin kung ano yung pinaka maliit na value dito. So, negative 3. Ito yon Next, 2. And then, 5. Okay. The next naman, sa y naman natin, ang pinaka maliit naman sa y ay negative 1. Ang susunod dyan ay 2. The next is 4. Now, dito, ini lalagyan mo lang, i-coconnect mo lang yung dalawang yon, Kung ano yung magka-correspond. Uh, magka Let's say 5 corresponds to 2. Okay, yung 5 sa 2. So, ganyan. And then, yung negative 3 naman sa 4. So, yung negative 3 sa 4, ganyan. And then, sa 2 naman corresponds to negative 1. Okay, that is what we call mapping diagram. Now, another way is table of values, na kung saan yung x natin, yun yung input, at yung y naman, yun yung output natin. So, dito, pwede mo siyang i-arrange ng mula sa maliit, pataas, yung values ng x. Pero yung values ng y ay hindi pwede. Let's say dito, unahin natin yung negative 3 kasi siya yung pinakamaliit na value, then 2, then 5. Pero sa y, kung ano dapat yung kapartner ng negative 3, which is 4, dapat yun ang ilalagay natin dito. Kasi ito yung input natin, ito yung magiging output. So dito, 2, negative 1, 5, and 2. Pag graph naman, paano naman yung graph? Or simply, ipaplat lang natin yung mga points dito. 5, 2. Nasaan ba yung 5? 4, 5 is here. And then, yung y natin ay 2. So nandito dapat yung point natin. Negative 3, ang x natin, negative 3, ang y naman ay 4, so dapat nandoon ang point. And then, x is 2, nandito yung x, 2, and then negative 1 is y, so nandyan dapat yung point. So, ito ngayon ang uh, point nito or yung uh, sa Cartesian plane pag ipaplot natin yung points. Okay? Next, another way to present is by words. Okay, look at this one. A restaurant menu. Okay, so of course, makikita natin lagi sa menu, then mayroong price, di ba? So, ibig sabihin ito, parang ito yung x values natin. Dito, ito naman yung y values natin. So, to, dalawang values yan. Na kung saan, makikita natin, let's say, kung ano yung mga menu dito, dito sa kabilang side, na, na, na ipapakita yung price, di ba? cheeseburger. So, let's say 150. Okay, we have that. And then, like that. See? Another, there are two values here. The first one here corresponds to this. Cheeseburger corresponds to 150 pesos. The pizza is corresponds to 200 pesos. 
spaghetti corresponds to 75 pesos. Now, equation, so you can do it like this. Y is equal to X plus 5. Because if you're going to assign values for X, here, pwede tayo mag-assign ng value ng X, di ba? Pwede tayo mag-input ng X. Na kung saan, pag may value tayo ng X, makukuha natin yung value ng Y. Okay? That is by equations. In a relation, there is what we call domain and range. Yung domain, yun yung mga x values. So, di ba yung x values natin dito? Negative 3, 2, and 5. So, it's a set. So, again, it should be in the uh, cur uh, curly bracket. Yes. So, we have, you can arrange that. Negative 3, then we have 2, and then we have 5. That's the domain of a relation. And the range are the values of y. So, the range is a set of values of y. So, we have negative 1, we have 2, we have 4. Okay? Now, in mapping diagram, this is the domain and that is the range. Okay? So, simply, whatever those values... Okay, so domain, x values, and range, the y values. Now, let's illustrate about function. So what is a function? A function is a relation in which uh, each element in the domain is paired with exactly one element in the range. So ano ibig sabihin yan? Sabi dito na sa function daw, yung element natin ng domain dapat ay nakapair lang siya sa exactly one element in the range. Okay? So, to illustrate more about function and relation, okay, I have here a diagram. And that's the relation, the big one. And inside that relation, we have a function. So, ibig sabihin, ang function ay part siya ng relation. Pero mayroon tayong relation na hindi siya pwedeng or hindi siya function. Yan ang ibig sabihin. Now, ngayon, tingnan natin. Ang sabi dito, dapat daw, ang ating x ay hindi siya pwedeng magkaroon ng dalawang values ng y. So, tingnan natin itong example natin dito sa uh, mapping diagram. Negative 3 paired to 4. Okay, that's 1. Every input daw, ang sabi dito, every input natin ng x, dapat ang lalabas na output ay isa lang. So, dito, nag-input tayo ng negative 3. Ang output niya, isa lang, 4. Nag-input tayo dito ng 2. Ang output niya ay 1. 5 corresponds to 2. So, this is a function. Okay? Kasi, bawat input natin ng x dito, isa lang ang value niya ng y. Kaya ito ay function. Okay, let's have more examples on this. So, let us identify if the following relation is a function. Okay, dito, pinakita ko muna siya as, order, as a set of ordered pairs, and then, Mapping diagram. So, pareho lang ito, ha? Okay, so, gagaya dito. Ang set natin, negative 4, 3, 6, 7, 5, 8, negative 2, 0. So, ngayon, ito yung input natin, ito yung output natin. Yung x, yung y. Domain, range. So, marami siyang pangalan, di ba? x, y, input, output, domain, range. Now, isa-isa natin, arrange natin yung domain, negative 3, or I mean, negative 4, so ayan, negative 4, then ano yung sunod, negative 2, so negative 2, then 5, and then 6. Okay, sa ating value ng y naman, or output, or range, meron tayong arrange, pwede rin nating arrange 0, and then next is 3, next is 7, and next is 8. Okay? So, now, kung ipipair natin yan, ang negative 4 natin, nakapair lang siya sa 3. 
So, isa lang yung negative 4 corresponds to 3. Nag-input tayo ng negative 4, ang output niya 3 lang. Nag-input tayo ng negative 2, ang output niya 0. That is 1. Only 1 output. Nag-input tayo ng 5, yung output niya ay 8. And 6, output niya ay 7. Okay, so ibig sabihin nito, since each uh, element in the domain is paired exactly with one, with one element in the range, it means that is a function. Okay, how about here? So we have here set of ordered pairs, negative 4, 3, negative 4, 7, and 3, 8. So again, domain range, input, output, x or y. Now, tingnan natin, meron tayong negative 4, pinakamababa natin negative 4. And then, negative 4 uli. So dito, pag ganun sa mapping diagram, pag naulit yung number, isang beses mo lang siya ililista. Okay? So isang beses na natin ilista dito sa mapping diagram yung negative 4. And then, the next is 3. Dito naman sa y uh, natin, or range, anong pinakamaliit dito? 3, followed by 7. And then, 8. Now, tingnan natin ngayon, ang negative 4 natin, nakapair siya sa 3. Nakapair siya sa 3. Negative 4, 3. And then, ang negative 4 ay nakapair din siya sa 7. Ibig sabihin nito, pag nag-input tayo ng, ng negative 4, meron siyang dalawang output, 3 and 7. Dito, nag-input tayo ng 3, ang output niya ay 8. Now, Matatawag ba nating function ito? Kasi nagkaroon siya ng dalawang output sa isang input lamang. This is not a function. Okay? Now, para mas madali, halimbawa, uh, ordered pair lang ang ordered pairs lang ang given, set of ordered pairs. Malalaman mo rin kung siya ay function or not function kahit hindi mo na siya gawing pag ganito or hindi mo na siya i-mapping. Bakit? Tingnan mo na lang yung values ng x. Gaya dito, ayan ang negative 4. Ayan ang negative 4. Ibig sabihin, pag may naulit na value ng x, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya function. Ang tawag lang sa kanya ay relation. Relation siya but not a function. Okay? So, ayan, mas madali makita na. Now, Kung mapping diagram naman, ang pagka-present, madali nyo rin makita kasi ibig sabihin may dalawang number na, na kung saan naka-pair doon sa isang number dito. Not function. Okay, now here. Tingnan natin dito ngayon. Wala siyang mapping diagram, ordered pair, set of ordered pairs lang. Tingnan natin ang x. We have 5, we have 6, we have 5. We have 1. So, naulit yung 5 dito. Ayan ang 5. May 5 din dito. So, ayan, dyan pa lang, alam natin na not function na. This is not a function. Okay, what about here? Check natin yung x. Kahit hindi na natin i-check yung mapping diagram, check na lang natin yung ordered pairs or yung set of ordered pairs. 7, 6, 5, negative 2. May naulit ba? sa x values natin. Wala, ba? So, dito, ibig sabihin, this is a function. Or, pag tinignan nyo naman yung, map, yung mapping diagram, napansin nyo na ang bawat element dito ay isa lang ang kanilang output. Okay? So, that is a function. Okay, next. Identify if the following relation is a function. Ayan. Mapping diagram lang nakasulat or nakalagay. Walang ordered pair. So, wala kayong i-double check doon sa ordered pair. Pero, makikita nyo ngayon doon sa mga line na nilagay. Okay? So, kagaya nito, isa-isahin nyo. Ito, meron bang dalawang line na nakalagay uh, dito? So, ang 6 sa 9 lang. Ang 0 sa 4. Ang 5 sa 12. Ang 6 sa 9. So, that is a function. Next, how about this one? Yung 4, domain, ang output niya 7. Yung 6, ang output niya rin 7. Function ba ito or not? This is a function. You know why? 
Kasi, na nag-input ka ng 4, ang output mo ay 7. Isa lang. Na nag-input ka ng 6, ang output mo ay 7. Okay? So, dito, okay lang na kung saan madobli yung sa range. Hindi pwedeng madobli yung sa domain. Okay? So, ayan. 4 corresponds to 7. 6 corresponds to 7. This is still a function. Now, this one, check natin. Negative 4 to 3 corresponds to 3. Negative 3 corresponds to 8. Positive 3 corresponds to 7. And that is a function. Because for every input, there is only one output here. Okay? Next, here. Look at this. Negative 2. Then 5, then 6, 7 has 3, and 7 has 8. Tingnan nyo ngayon yung 7. Nag-input ka ng 7, ang lumabas na output ay 3 and 9. So, dalawa. This is not a function. Now, here, given the table, we are going to determine if the relation is a function. So, look at this one, the input here. So, we have one input, the output is negative 2. We have 2 here, the output is 5. Another 2, the output is 9, or the value of y. x is 3, or input, the value of y is negative 5. And 4, the value of y is 6. So, you notice here, we have 2 number here in this table we have 2 5 and 2 9 okay 2 has uh, the, the input 2 here has two values 5 and 9 which means this is not a function now if we are going to show this using ordered pairs look at this so we have 2 here and we have 2 here. So, naulit ngayon yung x. It means not a function. That's all for this video. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. Bye. See you in the next one.